an optic for the BJP ahead of Uttar Pradesh polls. It comes as certainly a big blow for the Congress. Now, big news coming in. Angry Congress now reacts to RPN's resignation. We're looking at Congress finally reacting to RPN Singh's resignation. In fact, uh, we heard Supriya Srinath when she said that this is almost cowardly for someone to quit a party which has uh, where you believed in a certain ideology and then completely move to another party which has an ideology poles apart from your own. So this is uh, cowardice. This is this battle not meant for cowards. That's what Supriya Srinath says as a first reaction coming in from the Congress party. Uh, no pacifying. Let me tell you, absolutely no pacifying the disgruntled leader. Not too sure whether he, he even spoke with the Congress leadership before he made this decision of resigning, but at least uh, when there was a... Uh, when there was uh, kind of, uh, and it was established that RPN Singh was feeling sidelined, he wanted to leave. There was absolutely no attempt, is what our reporters tell on ground. Of course, Shupriya, Supriya Shreene there in her first comment, this is what she said. Let's cut across. The kind of fight that the Indian National Congress is putting up all across the country, and particularly in a state like Uttar Pradesh, is a battle against the government's resources, the battle for truth. And to fight a battle, as strongly pitched as this one, you have to fight it with courage. You have to fight it with a lot of dedication. I don't think this is meant for the coward. And like Priyanka ji has said, you need